Good morning. This is Dallas Townsend with the CBS World News Roundup. There can't be many people happier this morning than Russell and Rachel Thompson. Their daughter Caroline, who was abducted Saturday, is back with them safe and well. John Sheehan reports from Daytona Beach. Five-year-old Caroline Thompson is back in Daytona Beach this morning after being held for two days by a kidnapper. Her parents flew up to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina during the night and brought her back. They planned to go ahead with the vacation that turned into a nightmare last Saturday when a man drove off with Carolyn in the Thompson family car. Rachel Thompson told me how she feels now about the person who kidnapped her child. We're so thankful to him that he took care of our child and didn't harm her in any way. And uh, She said nothing to indicate that he did harm her in, in any way at all. Uh, he seemed to have tried to comfort her by telling her that he was going to... Uh, get her back to her mother and daddy. He did tell her that. The accused kidnapper, 18-year-old James Tucker, is in custody in South Carolina. The FBI says he was paroled earlier this month after serving a prison term for car theft. John Shayan, CBS News, Daytona Beach, Florida. The kidnapping in Peabody, Kansas, has had a tragic outcome. Grant Avery, a 25-year-old bank vice president, was abducted Sunday, and his body, shot in the head, was found last night. Thomas Kelly, director of the Kansas Bureau of Investigation, tells about the discovery. The body was found in, uh, in off the road uh, in uh, some grass and what have you, ditch, in a ditch-type area. We were making uh, routine searches of the road, you no know, indication of uh, uh, who the culprit could be in this matter. Avery apparently was killed because the kidnapper learned that he wouldn't be able to get into the bank vault until Monday morning. Fire swept through a Holiday Inn near Cambridge, Ohio before dawn today, and police say at least 10 people lost their lives.